Hi Abhigyan, welcome to IIT Delhi. We are glad to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you coming from and what do you do? Yes. Thanks Amita for organizing this. Uh, so, uh, hello everyone. I am Abhigyan. And so, I just joined IIT Delhi uh, a few months back. Uh, I came here from Germany. Uh, I was working as a postdoctoral researcher at the Max Planck Institute for Software System in Saarbrücken, and I just directly came from there. Um, uh, actually, before postdoc, actually, I obtained my PhD and MTech both from IIT Kharagpur. Although during PhD, like it was a joint program between IIT Kharagpur and Max Planck Institute, so I uh, did spend a lot of time in Germany during my PhD as well, but I was still based in India. Uh, before masters, I have worked at Microsoft Research uh, in Bangalore for two years and which kind of shaped my uh, research career. Like I decided to do research uh, the, because of my time. So uh, my research is uh, on this broad theme of computing and society. So uh, whatever I work on has these two aspects. One is uh, algorithmic aspect. Of course, like we are interested in developing algorithms as computer scientists. But I also focused on the societal aspect, like what happens uh, uh, in the when we apply this algorithm in practice, right? Uh, maybe let me give you one example to clear this. Say uh, most of us have started. So, for example, you apply the same classification algorithm, uh, let's say in the domain of healthcare, where you want to decide whether maybe a machine learning algorithm decides based on a lot of medical data, medical record, etc., whether to keep a patient in the hospital for uh, one week or just to discharge the patient immediately. And this becomes very acute in the scenario of COVID, etc., where there is a high demand for hospital beds and you don't really want to waste a bed by keeping patients who may not need this additional care. Uh, now, what the the problem happens that still the algorithm is 85% accurate, right? So at least in 15% cases, it will make errors. Now here we are talking about 15% of actual patients who may lose their life when this algorithm make error. And this problem gets even manifested further if you see that even if the accuracy was 85%, when you look at one subgroup of the population, the accuracy might be 95%. Whereas if you look at another subgroup, the accuracy might be 70%. But overall, it was performing 85% uh, accuracy level, right? Now, these are some kind of scenarios where I look at, and my goal is to ensure that when we apply these algorithms in practice, we at least know about these trade-offs which are there, like whether we are making uh, making very good predictions overall or we are making bad predictions for some class but good prediction for other classes and how can we ensure that we are kind of fair or we are sort of uh, addressing different ethical issues which may come out when we apply these algorithms in a real world uh, can i quickly ask you why you chose to come to iit delhi yeah, uh, so this has been a kind of conscious decision by looking at different alternatives, like where can I work, uh, where I would get the right environment to work in this area. Now it happens that IIT Delhi is actually uh, uh, is at the forefront of some research which is going to happen in this area in the future, uh, because already the groundwork has been uh, laid out very well. Uh, so let me I'll give you an example that very recently IIT Delhi has started the school of AI, a school of artificial intelligence, and it has also started a school of public policy. Uh, it is also having a center of excellence in legal technology. So if you can see, there are multiple efforts which are coming uh, uh, where uh, IIT Delhi is dealing with these different issues which come at the intersection of we being in Delhi has a lot of uh, options to make a real impact by talking to governments, by talking to a lot of non-governmental bodies to ensure that uh, we do something good for society by applying the computational techniques which we have been developing. For students, I would say that this is a very wide open area 
we are just starting to look at the uh, the impact of computing technologies on society right uh, so definitely this is a very uh, hot and emerging area uh, so i would welcome everyone to join our group work with us and make an impact uh, to uh, more broader uh, like the friends of iit delhi csc so this is an area where uh, there is going to be a lot of uh, importance going forward and lot of investments and everything uh, associated with it is going to happen so maybe this is the right time to uh, engage like uh, so we are kind of open uh, to dialogues with everyone uh, just suggest where you want to see uh, iit delhi can make an impact and of course like we'll be happy to discuss more and reach out to all of you to uh, to make the impact and make it possible to uh, really uh, make some impact on the society thanks a lot abhigyan welcome once again to iit delhi good uh, to have you here thanks a lot amita